this work we do is truly so important. And we would love for you to really hear us today. And sometimes all we really need is to just talk to one another, to connect yeah. and to not feel alone, to not feel isolated. This and is today nice. we're going to tell you all about ourselves and why we do what we do and why we fight to end bullying. Susan, I think the most important thing about Buddha bullying is creating a safe space. Hi, Susan. I'm Jessica. Hi. 19. I'm a freshman in college and I'm a Buddha Bowling Women's Ambassador. And I've been with this organization since 2020 for the past two years. And I wouldn't change it for the world. I was being bullied for not standing into like gender norms. I used to like love dressing up like a tomboy and wearing shorts to school. I love playing basketball. I love doing cheerleading, but I was a very much kid that loved doing everything and so I stood out and not only that I was the only African-American in my school so mm -hmm. I was like the one person out of a bunch of kids that really stood out. We have several most of these students are from different schools these ones are from this one's actually uh, Morris and uh, Alphonse are from Kisumu oh. that's the western part of Kenya. Okay. Cool. Then TJ, uh, Yvette, they are from Nairobi, different schools, but I... So, uh, mostly, like, I get bullied, like, when, uh, when at IT lessons, when people, when, when my, my other friends come, and then we, we make a line, they usually push me and throw my shoes uh, yeah. far away from where I'm supposed to, from where we keep them so they can be first in line to use the computers. Oh. Have you told the like, teacher? Uh, yes, yeah, so I told the teacher. And did the teacher do anything about it yet or not yet? Not yet. Maybe we can send an email out and make the teacher a little more aware of what's going on. Some teachers just brush it off, but in some schools, they take it seriously. Some have, have anti-bullying anti messages. Zero tolerance, but you find in some cases they just dismiss, they think it's just physical. And maybe to that child, it's a big thing. Yeah. But to the teacher, it's not a big issue. Oh, yeah. but do you have something to share with us? I want school people get talked about. And some even make you feel bad, like telling you that your stuff are bad or that you don't have enough money to buy something. They make you feel less than less than them yes well you know in your heart how amazing you are though right yes i live in a family of um there's nine of us um seven of us are adopted and two are my mom's biological children but we are all siblings no matter what um so obviously um a lot of the clothes my older sister used I would use, she would pass them down and I would use them because sometimes you have to understand that not everyone is given the same opportunities and resources in life. And so opportunities don't come all the time. But when an opportunity comes by, you need to grab that opportunity and hold on to it because you don't know when you're getting another one. So for those so when you look at it for those who are maybe a little more fortunate than others or those who can afford a little more than others, it's, it's not about that. It's not about what you can afford and how much you can or can't afford. It's about being grateful for the opportunities you have. So a lot of the stuff that you are handed down or maybe things that you can't afford now, but you want to work towards, that's the motivation you need to use. The materialistic like, things, really mean nothing at the end of the day. Yeah. They really don't. What matters most is that yeah. you're happy, you're healthy, mm -hmm. you're at peace, you know who you are. Who to bully? Who to bully?